Greetings, everyone. I am your friend, Teacher Sam. Today, we will delve into the world of transportation vocabulary. It's an exciting and practical topic, opening up a realm of conversation possibilities from talking about your daily commute to planning your dream vacation. Understanding and using transportation vocabulary can enrich your English language skills and make you feel more confident in various scenarios. So, are you ready to broaden your horizons and explore new words? Are you ready to embark on this journey? Hop on board. First stop, we have car, pronounced as K-R. A car is a road vehicle, typically with four wheels, powered by an internal combustion engine. An example sentence could be, I drive my car to work every day. Next, we have bus. It's pronounced B-S. A bus is a large motor vehicle carrying passengers by road, typically one serving the public on a fixed route and for a fare. Here's how you might use it in a sentence. I take the bus when I go downtown. Moving on, we have train, pronounced as trian. A train is a series of connected vehicles traveling on railways. An example sentence could be, I prefer to take the train when traveling across the country. Next up, we have bicycle, pronounced as bicycle. A bicycle is a vehicle composed of two wheels held in a frame one behind the other. You could say, I ride my bicycle to the park. Finally, we have plane, pronounced as plian. A plane is a powered flying vehicle with fixed wings and a weight greater than that of the air it displaces. For instance, I took a plane on my last vacation. Well done. We've covered our first set of transportation words. Next, we have boat, pronounced as bout. Boats are used for traveling over water. Here's an example in a sentence. We took a boat to cross the river. Moving on, we have the word taxi. It's pronounced as tech sai. Taxis are vehicles that you can hire to take you to a specific destination. An example sentence is, I called a taxi to take me to the airport. Next up is subway, pronounced as sb.weyalash. Subways are underground trains in cities. For instance, I use the subway to commute to work every day. Then we have tram, pronounced as tram. Trams are similar to buses, but they run on tracks. An example sentence could be, the tram is a popular mode of transport in the city. Lastly, we have helicopter, pronounced as helicopter. Helicopters are aircrafts that can take off and land vertically. For example, the news crew uses a helicopter to cover traffic. Excellent, you've now learned all of our transportation words. It's time to revisit our journey and the words we've learned. In this voyage of words, we've come across various modes of transportation. Let's take a step back and reimagine the journey we've embarked on. We started with the most basic form of travel, walking. Remember, we can say, I prefer walking to the supermarket. It's a simple sentence that conveys our preference for walking. Next, we hopped on a bicycle. We learned to say, she rides her bicycle to school every day. This sentence tells us about a regular activity. Then, we revved up the engine of a car. He drove his car to the office. This sentence indicates a completed action. We then boarded a bus, where we learned, they take the bus to the city center. This sentence shows a common routine. We also hopped on a train, where we learned to say, we traveled by train to the countryside. This sentence tells us about a past journey. We didn't stop there. We sailed on a boat, flew on an airplane, and even journeyed on a spaceship. Remember, she enjoys sailing on her boat during the summer. They are flying to Paris for their honeymoon, and the astronauts traveled to the moon on a spaceship. These sentences express ongoing, future, and past actions, respectively. Great job, you've successfully navigated through our transportation vocabulary. Now, you're ready to use these words and phrases to talk about your own journeys. So where will your words take you next? We've reached the end of our journey, but your learning does not stop here. Today, we've embarked on a linguistic voyage, exploring the vast landscape of transportation vocabulary. We've navigated through buses, trains, bicycles, and even the occasional hot air balloon, learning not just their names, but how to weave them into our everyday conversations. The importance of this lesson lies not just in the words themselves, but in how they connect us to the world. Each term is a ticket to a conversation, opening up pathways of communication and understanding. So I encourage you to practice these words, use them in your daily conversations, and watch how they enrich your English language journey. And don't forget, learning a language is like learning to ride a bike. It may seem daunting at first, but with practice, it becomes second nature. Remember, practice makes perfect. Keep using these words and soon, they'll become a part of your vocabulary. Until next time, this is Teacher Sam signing off.